Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's vlog is going to be our Portland to Seattle and Seattle trip vlog. So our flight was southwest from Oakland to Portland. And now here we are in Portland. We went to our Airbnb, stayed there, and then the next day we were on our way to Multnomah Falls. So this is a video of us getting our first impression, first look at Multnomah Falls. It is absolutely gorgeous. So that's that. I'm just gonna stop talking so you can see. And this right here that you can see is a small is a hotel actually, which is like gives you the feel of living in a small tight village. And this is not near Multnomah Falls, it's like a little town nearby. And then this hotel is in that town that we just stopped by. So that is, it's so cute. I love it. All right, and then this is just our, we like driving in to Multnomah Falls. It was so green, I tell you. It was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just not gonna talk and let you enjoy the view. And the things that are coming up now are just going to be some pictures that we got of the room going there. And this is the actual falls. You can see that there is a bridge that you can actually go on top of. It's like a three minute hike upwards and you get on that bridge. The water also like sprays at you, sprinkles, and I think and it was just so nice going up top. Um, there's multiple hikes in Multnomah Falls and there's actually one hike that takes you on like at the top most point of the falls. We didn't go there, but we did go on a little hike um, where we got a beautiful view of the lake, the waterfall, the cityscape, everything included. It's really pretty, just like we see in the pictures of Google. Here's just another video of the scenery. And now here is a full video of the water flowing and and up. It's so pretty. Colorado River. Um, we just stopped by on our way back, to, on our way to Seattle, but that's that. Um, we also went to Portland downtown, and in downtown, this person had a whole art setup with um, canvases, paint brushes, paint brushes, um, everything. So you can paint, make your own artwork, you can peep it, or you can leave it there all for free. It was amazing. Next, this is Peatalk Mansion Museum and Park. So this is just a big historic mansion which people used to live inside of. There's tours, you can purchase tickets to go inside the mansion and see what type of bed they slept in or whatever, what type of interior they had. We didn't do that, but 
um, we were just looking around. Now it is time to go to Seattle. We arrived in the night, we drove from Portland to Seattle, so this is the nightscape of Seattle downtown, Seattle City. And then the next day, in the morning, we were headed to Mount Rainier National Park. So, this is just our drive over there. Um, now I can finally see what it looks like now that it's daytime. This is not in downtown though. Okay, and here is Mount Rainier's Mount Rainier's. Um, so this isn't actually the mountain, but this is like these are mountains that surrounded Rainier. And there are a bunch of little fountains over there. Not fountains, I'm so sorry. Waterfalls. And yeah, so that's just one of them. It's so cute and little and I love it. Now there's see this little view and the mountain that you see right there that is being covered by the clouds is the actual Mount Rainier. We also saw this really cute deer. I think this is my favorite picture ever. So cute and adorable. This is a better look with clear skies um, that Mount Rainier, I got this from CNN off of Google just so you guys can see what it looks like. So yeah. Um, more pictures. This is the viewpoint where we saw Mount Rainier the best. Um, and there was snow so on top of the mountain and everything. And now here we are in Seattle, downtown, in the city, buildings and everything. And then we went to the Seattle Public Library. This is the biggest, humongous library I've ever seen in my life and it just looks so unique as well. Here is a video from the, the view that you get from inside the library and it is just wonderful. Like just imagine being a librarian in this library it would be the best. Um, this is a video of the inside of the library. They had like four, I think, four, four-ish floors with a escalator, with a um, elevator, stairs, everything with multiple bathrooms. There was a section for the teens, the kids, the adults, the seniors, everything. And now here we are in the public market. And in that there is Pike Place Market. And this was so good. They were selling various different fruits, flowers, and there were a bunch of little shops on the inside of the market that sold art, clothing, um, artifacts, whatever you name, you'll find over there. And then, right beside the market, there was this gum wall, or this gum alley that is pretty famous, so in this, basically, just Whatever gum you chewed, you take it out of your mouth and you go and slap it on the wall. And now, yeah, it's very touristy, but yeah, people still do that. It smells absolutely disgusting because it's like an enclosed place with like all gum and everything. But people still do that. So yeah. And this is just another video of the market on the outside. It is legit so crowded there. Like locals, tourists, everyone just goes there. It is so crowded. There was also this one stall which was selling fish. 
and every time someone buys like, a fish, they would scale the fish first of all, and then they would this one person from point A would throw the fish, which has been like measured everything, to person B and point B, and then he would just catch it out of the air and package it. It was so cool. And right across from that, um, there were a bunch of shops, hotels, coffee shops, and this right here, the picture you see, is the oldest Starbucks ever. This is the first Starbucks to have ever been created. There was a big line, so this is just from the outside. This is another store, the Confectional. It's a cheesecake store. And inside from the window, you can see them actually making fresh cheese. Now back to Starbucks. This is the Starbucks Reserve Roastery and Tasting Room. This is the biggest Starbucks I have ever seen with bean tastings, beans you can buy, espresso machines, um, food like croissants and like sandwiches. I tried the butter croissant and the chocolate croissant. The chocolate one was my favorite. Um, and there was also like a bar in the Starbucks. And it sold, I saw that it had like coffee flavored alcohol drinks as well. So that's, yeah. And then you can see in this video a bunch of machinery. You can see how they actually make the beans, grind the beans in such a big amount and make it and if you take a drink to drink in house they will give it to you in like a fancy glass in fancy presentable ways and people just like go in there and hang out it is very crowded there by the way so yeah but like on a regular starbucks menu like a normal starbucks with Menu that you would like to just go to a store and buy. Like, you wouldn't, here you won't get like frappuccinos or like pink drinks or any of that. They have a different um, specific menu for the store. Then we went to the Space Needle. This video is outside of the Space Needle. It was the fountain and yeah. And then right beside, like behind the fountains, which you can see this video a little bit, were these big glass flowers. It was a mixture of like aluminum and glass. They were so big. And now this is the actual space needle. It's so big. Here's just a video of us going up. There are, I don't remember how many floors there are, but yeah. We get even higher, which is an even better view, which we'll see in the pictures to come. from the topmost floor. This one had, it was just glass all around us on like the windows. And then when you go down a floor from here, it was a revolving glass floor, which was really cool. And in the little center gift shop downstairs, there's this machine, which you would, I think, give a dollar. And they would make a little space needle for you. I think it's out of wax and it operates just like a 3D printer and I made, got one made and it was the cutest thing ever. Um, you'll see how it just like un, unjoins itself and just like pops out. 
spacey look and how cute that is and up over there i also inserted a picture of the one that i got made so you can see it in like a little close-up and next to the Space Needle, where I showed you the glass flowers were, it was like a glass museum. So now the clips that you will see, everything is made out of glass. It's so bright and so colorful and it's just amazing. And this is a ceiling, which is like clear glass, and then inside there are like colorful glass sculptures inside of it. And this, it's like cloth, like carpet, but guess what? It's not cloth. All of this is made of glass. Like, I cannot believe that. You can see like the little wrinkles, all made of glass. Every single thing is made of glass. This is the photo you saw of, and as you can see, it's just like a hallway with a clear glass ceiling filled with colorful glass sculptures, and when it shines through, you can see the colors on the wall. And then moving on, this is a, there were sculptures out in nature outside, just like by the plants, there were different shapes that were made. So go ahead and watch that. It's so like creative, I love it. pieces the way the gold just shines and the black is there is just so shiny and bright and sparkly and I love it moving forward we also went to the Amazon headquarters and the bubbles that you see right there they're connected and inside the bubbles there is workspace for the employees garden and cafes so it's really cool um, moving forward, this is our last location of the trip. This is Golden Creek Pond. Um, as you can see from this side, the water seems green to you because of the reflection of the trees in the water. But then, if you moved to the beginning of like the lake where the tables are, you can see there's just clear water. And that was so fascinating to me. There's also a round um, trail that you can do. It takes you like in a whole entire circle. Um, so in, in that video you can see the difference between the colors. And this is just like a part of the little land that covers the lake. It just came into the lake so you can like go at the tip top and like you see right inside what there is. So, take a look at that. And then, sadly enough, it was time for us to say bye to Seattle. And I would just like to say, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this new video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video, which will be a Las Vegas trip. Bye-bye.